Hello everyone, it's Amy again. I just thought I'd come back and work on my stick pin holders and bring you all along while I was doing it. So, these are some of the opals I got from the recycle store. And that's what I do my backs with. This is just a really nice um, background stamp that I got at Michael's. I think the last time that I went there. So... I like to do it with the Distress Inks because they don't like fill in solid. I guess that's because that's how they're supposed to be. Just take that and put it on there. But Well, Papa and I drew names earlier today for the recycle store, so those are up if you haven't seen it yet. And um, he had a good time. I tried to get him to tell you all a story, but... He didn't want to do it. And so, maybe one of these days. He has some quite interesting stories. Okay, I thought I'd try and make this one, because these are orange, and I thought I would try and make it orange. Yeah, I think I'm going to like that. I wasn't sure if it was going to be too bright or not. And that color is um, spiced marmalade that I just put on there. I'm going to let that dry for just a second, and then I will um, put a little color over the top of it, which I have to decide which color I want to do. I've also got some white ones that I made earlier here, and um, I'm going to do those with, they've got the brown um, beads on them. I'm going to check this camera angle again. Okay, it's doing okay. So I thought that I would do that with some vintage photo and uh, tea dye. I think I'm gonna you know I'll stamp it with vintage photo and then I'll use the tea dye to go into the back. I'll use the tea dye. I think I've used the tea dye on almost all of them. It really makes them look very vintagey. <laughs> I really like that look. I don't bother to clean it off totally. Um, it's okay if it gets a little color, unless I'm doing something like pink and blue or something like that. I wouldn't want. Oh, well, I guess maybe they'd look all right. I lost it. So tomorrow, I have to go to the next big city and um, I'm going to take my husband with me I think to the recycle store he's never been there and so I'm going to take him there to check it out I did take my youngest daughter and she found a couple of things that she liked but um, oh that's really pretty look at that so yeah, I think that that's what we'll do when we go to town. We have to get home. We're trying to put a French drain in to stop our driveway from flooding. So we can't be gone too long. But I have to go down and drop my van off to get a wheelchair lift put in the back. And um, so while we're down there, I thought we'd make just one quick stop over to the recycle store and see what my husband thinks. I bet he'll find some stuff that he thinks he can use. Even if they think I'm crazy, they really don't. So I'm just going to use this. This is um, the tea dye. I think I might have to pick up another one of these because I think I'm about running it out. I love this for the background. I'm just kind of here and there with it. Some spots darker than others to make it look more old instead of just filled in. There. I think I like that. We'll do this one too. But, you know, sometimes it feels like it's I have a lot of things that I would say if I was talking on these videos, and right now I'm feeling just kind of tongue-tied. 
don't know what to say. But it is kind of boring. Unless I put some music in the background. To just not have anybody say anything. I hope all of you that are out there that have been feeling not so well, I hope you're all doing better. There have been quite a few of my YouTube friends that have had, that have been a little bit sick, and I worry about you, and I pray for you, and I think about you quite often, and I just want you to know that. Okay, let's see. I'm not sure what I want to do at the back. Most of them have been like in pinks, and I've used two shades of pink, but with the brown, I'm not sure. I just want it to look, well, I wanted it to look messy, and that definitely looks messy. I need a new sponge. This is what happens when your sponge gets old. You can't control what you're doing as well. Sometimes that works out to your advantage, though. I'll put a little bit of this darker in there, but just, just some bits. Give it a little bit of depth. Always two or three colors to give something some depth. My niece is coming up this weekend. That's very exciting. She likes to craft, too, so we have a good time, and uh, her little boy, he likes to climb up and craft with us, so that's fun. Let's get the edges here so that they don't look white. Don't always, always remember your edges. Even if you have just a thin piece of paper, if you don't do your edges, it will definitely show. go and then I want a little bit of darkness on the back can't put the dark on the edges on the front because of the gold it doesn't stick to the gold because the gold is shiny but yeah with this you could put a little tag on the back with your information or something I just like how these are turning out you know you could cut an oval lot of just plain old cardstock um, like a cereal box or something. Paint it with some gesso and do exactly the same thing. There, I think I like the way that looks. And where's my brown stick pens? Oh yeah, that's going to look nice. So there. That one is ready for the holder. Now this one. I'm going to use some wild honey on the back. different places here. I'm going to go in and put some spiced marmalade. Is that what I used on the front? My pad is dry. And if you want to learn how to blend your colors, watch a different video. I don't do this part very well. I have seen people like blend them just beautifully. A lot of it has to do with you're supposed to start off the edge of your paper, and I don't do that very well. I tend to just want to start, and this has got a big edge on it, so it's kind of hard to start on the edge and then come up. This does not look very good. You can always fix it. You just keep going until you get something that you're kind of happy with. And it all comes out in the wash. Put a little bit more right in here. There we go. Not 
not the best, but let's see. Grab a little bit of tea dye and tone it down a bit. And I think that this will work pretty good. And then we'll just make the holders for the front that hold the stick pins, which is the reason I want to go to the recycle store tomorrow. Because I need to get some more of these large circle sponges like this. Because they're nice and thick. I only got like maybe a dozen or something, or not even, maybe ten. And this is the last of them. I always figure it's the one thing that you're thinking, I don't know if I'll ever use those, so you don't buy very many. Um, those are the ones that you find something to do with and wish you had more. This is just a little bit of vintage photo here along the edge. I got that in a little bit too far, so I wanted to kind of get it off. I love these distress things. I think that they finish off any project so nicely. I just got some distress paints and some distress sprays. I haven't got a chance to try them yet. So I'm excited about that. Okay, so there's that. My beeper says that it's time for me to send my video. <coughs> or otherwise I'm not going to be able to get it to go through. So I'll stop right here and I'll come back and I will make the little sponge parts to put on there if you want to come back and watch. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have an outstanding day. Bye-bye.